Remember, we said that we are going to build two E90s drift cars. And uh, today it's time to begin, but not with this one, but with that one. This one it had that crash to the rear end. Also, this side is a little bit bent. What we are going to do, we are going to prepare the wall chassis for the roll cage and uh, do some cutting. In order to prepare the body for the roll cage, we have to uh, cut off windshield, uh, rear window, uh, remove the doors, everything. So the body has to be completely stripped and Rokas is really happy about it. Very happy. Because he loves uh, disassembling and hates assembling stuff, right? It's more easier to disassemble than assemble. Every yeah. time you have some leftovers like screws, nuts. And uh, don't forget some zip bags. We don't need them. Because uh, for the uh, diff car, we are going to use uh, some standard bolts and nuts in order to remove uh, different variations and uh, a high variety of uh, bolts um, just to make everything simpler and easier to replace in event of crash or anything else. So yeah, uh, we are not going to have E-star bolts and uh, hex bolts and everything else. I mean, alien bolts. Alien? Rokas looks like alien today. So, enough of talks. Let's get to works. Bye bye. As always. Good luck, guys. Have a great day. Thank As you. Always. As always. So, we are not gonna using the original wiring. We have to strip everything out. Because in the sports cars, we don't need uh, number plate uh, lightning or some interior lightning. So, this is too much wiring. But actually, we just want to save some weight. Nah, just kidding. We just finished removing all the necessary stuff, all the wiring, the hoses. Almost everything is removed. We don't use anything what was on the car. We're gonna put everything new, brand new. And uh, now we're gonna move on to the cutting the front window and back window or glass, how you call it. I don't know, I'm gonna call it window today. But before that, we're gonna need to remove all these plastic trims, all the rubber around and then use tools to cut it. Hopefully we don't cut ourselves and be without any injuries or accidents today. So let's dig in. So look, our director is on the national TV. He is famous. I'm doing all the nasty job and somehow the director is on the TV, not me. I'm really sad, but yeah, I'm proud about him. He deserved that. You may be wondering why he is having an interview it's because of our body kit it became very popular and uh, all the country wants to know more about it if you miss it watch our episode about it and you're gonna know everything about it <laughs> we need some tools golden wire the best quality wire in town. And somehow. I think first you need to make a hole. I'm gonna make it with the wire, maybe. Good luck. <laughs> oh, probably, Good luck. probably no. I think you need to hit something sharp. You hit something you sharp? You have been done this kind of stuff? Don't ask me. Gonna need a bigger hole. Let's burn some metal. Let's see. Oh, we got cracked glass. Too much heat. Your advice wasn't good. Heat the metal. Look, the director is showing our body kit designs. Good to go. I think maybe it's a bit too long. This is gonna take some time. Oh. 
piece of shit. Yo, papa. Yo, papa. <laughs> Where are you gonna put it? On the Honda? On the Honda. Somebody did a bad job. Fixed. It took some time and effort to drill all the wheel spots. Wait, Rockers, you don't even work on this car. Wait, wait, what I did? I did a lot, a lot stuff. Maybe not drilling, but... What stuff? Uh, <laughs> the last few touches to remove the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I had the stuff to do. Yeah, but... Uh, some we did a great job, bro. I, great job. I was trying to help, but he did everything by himself. Main reason why we removed the roof is because it had a sunroof. It's a problem in the Pro League because you can't have a car with a sunroof. It's not uh, possible to have that kind of car. Uh, also, we're gonna change it to the carbon fiber to save some weight. Roof gonna look great and amazing, and also the one the most important reason, not maybe the most, it's gonna be more easier to put and weld the roll cage inside. You can access the top, which is pretty uh, hard to weld when there is a roof inside. So it's just plus 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 without the roof to put the roll cages. It's time to finish up and cut off this damaged part of rear end. Thank you, Norbe. You can take a look at what you did to my amazing car. So we have to uh, cut off everything in order to save the rear end of the E90 drift car. And another important reason to cut off the uh, solid rear end is uh, every time you hit the wall, it's possible that your uh, wall car is going to change the driving line and uh, you want to keep the way you were driving. That's why we are going to have uh, fiberglass, uh, carbon fiber, carbon Kevlar or something else at the rear end. Additionally, uh, how we're going to cut it is that we are going to keep these parts of the rear end in order to use OEM hinges for the trunk lid, so we can have functional, normal trunk lid, rather than having some kind of quick releases or anything like that. We think that it's a better option, uh, rather than playing around and uh, get your trunk flying around. That way, it's gonna be better secured trunk lid to the trunk. And uh, why Toto is going to cut uh, that way, I know Rock is going to cut, that's why uh, Toto is marking uh, at these parts, is because we are going to fabricate uh, the bash bar at the rear end. Uh, we don't know yet about the fuel tank. Uh, there are two options what we can do. We can have uh, Toto a fuel tank. You could be fuel tank, I just... And not much capacity. I, I was wanting to... Uh, <coughs> I wanted to demonstrate the example of a fuel tank and but you moved. The capacity of fuel tank is bigger. Agree, agree. Everyone agrees. And everyone agrees that uh, this week was very hard and you should uh, stay away from salary. <laughs> there are two options. One option is to have dash bar that holds fuel tank, fuel cell. Another option is to put fuel tank over here 
cut some kind of hole or something like that. So we will see. It depends what kind of fuel tank we are going to use. We are not going to use OM one because otherwise we will have to fabricate and use a surge tank. We will have to move fuel pumps outside and etc. So that's why we are thinking about using racing fuel cell with uh, fuel pumps and everything included into one box. But we will see. We still need to decide. We need to do some measurements and definitely some cuts. You can see we still have lots of tiny uh, bits that you can hurt yourself with. Uh, these are going to be removed, but uh, that's off camera. I don't think that uh, it's something really important for you to see. There are definitely not going to be any more such things inside the interior. We are going to remove these pieces of metal. But for now, let's focus on removing rear end, uh, the sheet parts. So it's going to be cut like that. What do you think? There we are. But uh, in that case, we will have to keep yeah. some space over here so we can fix the body kit. And every time uh, you're planning to cut your body panels, think about how you are going to fix your body kit and what kind of body kit you're gonna have. Because otherwise it can happen like it was for the E46, where you can cut too much, where you don't need, and it's impossible to cover that part because there are no body kit with uh, that length. So yeah, we are definitely gonna fabricate uh, the panels that are gonna cover uh, up to here, but uh, for stiffness and uh, better uh, hold of the doors, we're keeping the metal. time for a professional to do some work. They are just marking, talking. Now the real man is starting to work. So let's start the cutting. We did it! After some struggles, some hard working, a lot of cutting, without but any injuries, good. just one lost glove. Oh damn, nothing's left. Look at this amazing E90, compact, just wonderful. Maybe even better than Honda? No, 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 <laughs> nothing no? is better than Honda. <laughs> this is shift, still needs a few cuts and we gonna be finished for today. So stop filming. We are going to work with a new pair of gloves. A few moments later. It was a long day. Finally, wall rear end is gone. Uh, we still need to clean up some cuts. Uh, we still need to cut some things that are not needed, definitely. You can see we did a great job. We still have to take care of the tools, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, we are going to stay here until the floors are washed, uh, the tools are clean. And uh, I just wanted to share with you the current time here in Lithuania. Friday night, dancing in the room. It's gonna be a hard Saturday, a lot of hangover, a headache and <laughs> broken bones. <laughs> He was talking about uh, dancing with a broom. Are you having something better to dance with? You sometimes. <laughs> better take rockers. I'm a good dancer, you know? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can share some footage over here. I think it's enough. You saw Rockers dancing, you saw how we're destroying our E90. 
We are not going to destroy that one yet. Rock has already destroyed. He was born destroyed. But uh, that one uh, gonna wait. Toad we still have to build some stuff using that body. You can go to your place, Rokas, you can go to yours also. You still need to clean your mess over there. Fuck, I need to put the doors in here. That's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, press that push notification button, drop us a comment if you like this series, and uh, let us know what you would like to see more so we could share with you. Have a great week and see you next week. Bye. Told me I got some beer. Let's drink some beer. <laughs> See ya. I wish he would drink that. At least your face would be cleaner. It's a homemade brewery. Mm -hmm. Very good, very tasty. This is the amount of the cleaner required to wash him. Okay, bye-bye. Roka, say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>